What's up, guys? I'm back from the video, and this is worth an hour to stop them. I'm sorry for not uploading for such a long time, but this video may come out late. I'm planning for it to come out at 12. Hopefully, it does because I'm recording this kind of late. Welcome well, takes. It needs to take some longer. If it doesn't come out today, I'm sorry. Today is the 11th. If it comes out tomorrow, again, I'm sorry. But, yeah, without further ado, let's get to this what if. Now, we start us out with the seven year old Naruto. It's, well, the kids from the academy try to bully him, but, well, he's above the average human in every way. His speed, his strength, his stamina, endurance. In fact, you could all try and say it's superhuman in a sense. Of course, Naruto is also above the average height for a seven year old. Considering Jotaro at the age of 15 was like 6'5, he looked like a grown man. In fact, he was much Joseph in size. But yeah. Back to the what if. And well, Naruto usually ignores all of this bully. In fact, he either just, well, retaliates against the bully beating them up, knocking them out, in Jotaro fashion, or he just ignores them. Naruto's gone in trouble for this multiple different times, but at that stage, Aruki just doesn't even try. He knows the bullies bully Naruto, but well, he has to make it seem like he actually cares to the parents. At this stage, he just blames the bullies in general. Why do they keep doing this to themselves? Even though they're fighting, they're not losing battle. Well, one day, some of the bullies, they were tired, as they got their you know, Genin siblings to come attack Naruto. But Naruto doesn't play this shit. Even if they're Genin, he would still be able to beat most of them. All but one. As well, Naruto was sitting on a bench, peacefully. That's when a Genin comes and slaps his lunchbox out of his hand. Of course, Naruto's always come unprepared, so he pulls out a second one, not really caring, trying to ignore him, but the bully says, hmm, did you not see me slap out of your hand the first time? It means you're not allowed to eat, God. See, I'm gonna make a couple of changes around here. Demons like you aren't gonna be able to live in this village, and I become Hokage. Of course, one of the kids, well, he told his Chumin brother, but well, little Dino, this Chumin brother of his was actually an Anbu. And this Anbu worked under Haruzen. He decided to tell Haruzen he got a couple of, well, he got a couple of Anbu to look over Naruto. As the Anbu were ready to jump down, but Naruto starts laughing and says, Hmm, you become Hokage, someone so weak. That's when he rushes towards Naruto, but Naruto catches his punch. That's when he proceeds to flip him over. So everyone was in shock. How did he do, just do that? Of course, the Genin tries to stand back up, but Naruto stomps his head, knocking him out. Naruto says, who's next up? Another one comes rushing at Naruto, but Naruto punches him in his gut, making him spout a bit of blood. Again, knocking the wind out of him too. As he elbows him right in the skull. I'm gonna say this knocks him out too. And there's the final one. Well, not the final one, but the final one Naruto fights. He says, <laughs> All of them are weak, pathetic trash. But us three that are left, we're the top of the Genin spectrum. As these three were known as prodigies. In fact, they were thought to be the next few. Kage candidates, and one of them was the an Uchiha, the one walking up to Naruto. Of course, Naruto got his stunt, but the Uchiha speed blitzed them. He says, Nice try, but I'm not as slow as those guys. Sure, you'll be able to hurt me, but not as much as you think you would be. Come, punch me. He punches him in the gut, but for some reason, he doesn't seem as damaged as he thought. As Naruto gets Straight up punched in the face. As well, the other the other two start to hold Naruto, holding him against a tree. As that one pulled out a kunai, so I'll end you for good. Of course, the brother says, "Bro, I don't think it's a good idea." He says, 
Oh, and why is that? When the brother looks behind him, he is in shock. Five armed were all behind him. As before the armed could do anything, a large burst of chakra pushed them back with the armed as it was star platinum. Now I'm going to say Uchiha's can see a stick figure. Now, a stand like them looks like a stick figure of chakra as it keeps going up. Now, if you have a three ton of sharing gun, you can only see one line. Well, I'm gonna say it's one of their arms. For a Mangeko sharing gun user, you can see two lines, and that's for two arms. Now, from a ton of Mangeko sharing gun user, you can see a whole stick figure. But for Renegon gun user, you can see the stand. Anyway, back to the world. As or Naruto hears Urrah! as Star Platinum punches the bully, shattering his skull into pieces. The armed were in shock. What just happened? As they saw an enraged, enraged look in Naruto's eyes. Naruto pointed his hand out as another one of the bully's heads was split open. Then there was the last one. As Kakashi jumped in the way, he said, Naruto, calm down. Of course, the stand could bypass Kakashi's movements. Luckily, Kakashi managed to pull him away before, as this was the Uchiha. After all, he didn't want to anger the Uchiha. As Naruto says, who are you? Move out of my way. If you saw what happened and you were trying to help, I don't need your help. As Naruto was in general, just yelling. As a female Anbu says, calm down, kid. And stop being so bratty. It's annoying. Naruto and Jotaro fashion rule says, Be quiet, bitch. Everyone was in shock as she wanted to punch Naruto right now. She wanted to basically well, teach this kid a lesson. Show him some discipline. Of course, she wouldn't really be able to as there is a moving thing that you could not see that would keep punching you. What are you going to do? And it's faster than you. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? That is my question actually. What? What would you do if you don't have a sharing gun against this guy? As Kaji says, Naruto, calm down, it's me. As he pulls off the mask, the female arm says, What are you doing? As Naruto seemed to calm down his face. Oh, it's just you, Kakashi. Sorry, I was a bit angry. First, they take my lunch. Then they try and kill me, try to take my life. They deserve to die. As the female army says, now you've calmed down, can you apologize? As Narad says, sorry, I don't do that. She sighs and says, what well, a lost cause. Anyway, you're going to need to be, as Kakashi says, don't worry, you won't listen to me. I've got this. Narad to come with me, let's go to the old man. Naruto sighs and says, oh, Am I gonna have to sign paperwork again? As well, the armed were in shock. Why would a kid have to sign paperwork? That's actually odd. Of course, the reason Naruto had to sign paperwork was because he fucked up someone. Like, the damage he did to him, he really had to sign some shit. Apologies, letters, all of this dumb shit he had to sign. Now then, now Naruto is finally enough to stand, we can commence on the story. I'm gonna skip forward about three years later as a special event comes. In fact, not three, I'm gonna say five years later. So Naruto, he's 17. I mean, four, a fit, 12, 12, 12. He's 12. Can I not do any maths? Fuck. I need to go back to school. I'm joking. It was just a moment, alright. Is Naruto just 12 year olds? Well, 12 year old. He's a 12 year old now. An event commences. As this event happens only every 10 years. And, well, it's just about the all of the academy students have to show off their strength. Of course, it's all of the money the academy has made over the years being given to a student for the shinobi supplies when they become a shinobi. And also, to build up a shinobi clan if they're a good prodigy. 
Now, big clans don't get cash reward. Instead, they get some special scrolls that you can't buy in the store. You cheat off by scrolls, etc, etc. As well, a few of the gods were rooting for Naruto as there were two different fan clubs that went against each other. Naruto's and Sasuke. Zaruka said go, Naruto was in front of Lee as he sent Lee flying with a simple punch. Lee was in shock as he's never really seen Naruto fight since they were in different classes. Naruto said, I told you you should go all out. Most of the parents were in shock as they started to boo Naruto, but the fangirls objected this. They started to cheer for Naruto as the parents of the fangirls were telling them to be quiet, but they just ignored their parents. It's kind of a vowel of sound, as Naruto all of you shut the fuck up! Everyone was in sh shock, as Naruto says, I'm trying to concentrate here. As one of the crowd said, <laughs> and why should we listen to you? Naruto simply gave him a death stare as he became quiet. Naruto go back in stance and said, See, I respect you, and that's why I'll go all out if you go all out. I will hold back if you hold back. Lee looks at Guy Sente as Guy nods his head. Lee starts to roar as he enters the first gate. Of course, I'm gonna say by now he can enter the second gate, but it drains his it just drains him. It drains his stamina and endurance. And Naruto says, I know you're still holding back, but I'll humor you a bit. Naruto knew Taijutsu wouldn't cut at this as well he'll be equal to speed in Lee as he won't really do any damage. Naruto used something special he came up with as he mixed his punches with star platinum's so he wouldn't use the full star platinum stand but only star platinum's fist for punch as he combined star platinum's fist with his kind of like an exoskeleton. Naruto rushed towards Rock Lee as he punched him in the face making Lee spell a tooth. Everyone was in shock as well. It seemed Lee was in well defense. Plus, Lee was on guard, so how did Naruto attack him so fast? Of course, Lee retaliated with a front lotus, as Naruto actually took damage from this. He says, impressive, you managed to land an attack like that on me. But still, I'm not gonna go all out until you do. Naruto then hits Lee in the face again. It's, it just keeps going on, except Lee is using different attacks each time. As Naruto's finally had enough. He points his finger at Lee as Star Platinum rushes towards Lee, punching him in the stomach, making him spout some blood. Everyone was in shock as one second ago it seemed they were tied. What just happened? As Guy Sensei nodded at Lee twice, Lee started to roar as well. Rubble started to move around as the ground kind of moved a bit too. Like soft ground, it would be pulled up as the pressure Lee was laying off. Well, it was definitely enough to knock out a weak ass nigga. Like I'm talking about villages, some weak people like that. 
the pressure on Lee is letting off. Well, the pressure on Naruto and Lee combined, or should I say the killing intent there, both letting off is crazy. Of course, the journey ignore this as the competition's goal is to literally win. Of course you're gonna want to kill your opponent, but you won't actually do it. As Naruto says, ah, fine then. Now, Naruto's final basic attack is having Star Platinum as a whole ass exoskeleton. So Star Platinum basically merges with his body. As I'm gonna say, stands, well, they can take a certain amount of damage. And the damage isn't reflected onto you, so it's gonna be a bit different. That would be a bit annoying when you have people who could see you just attacking you like that shit. It's a lot different to Jojo, there's different attacks. So Stan's damage will not go onto you. Stan's can take a certain amount of damage. As Naruto has Star Platinum speed and strength now. Fully. Naruto looked at Lee as he sort of hit him in the face as Lee didn't expect this. Naruto wasn't the type of person to kick. Lee tried to hit Naruto, of course, Naruto dodges attack, right hooking him in the jaw, as he then proceeded to uppercut Lee, sending him flying into the sky. He jumped up behind Lee as he punched him in the face, sending him flying while he was in the sky. As Lee dropped into uh, the academy building, everyone was in shock as Lee rushed back out, as he rushed towards Naruto. Of course, Naruto was prepared, and again, he stretches out Star Platinum, as Star Platinum punches Lee in the face. It's as if Luffy was fighting. Everyone was shocked about these phantom punches Naruto was doing. How was he able to hit Lee if he wasn't actually hurting him? Of course, this fight went to Naruto. As Naruto finally decided to finish it off with an auto barrage, knocking Lee out. Everyone was shocked as Lee was a worthy opponent for Naruto, the only person in the academy that could equal his strength. All at that moment, Naruto had just got multiple times stronger. He's gained more battle experience and all of that. Naruto know now knows how to fight Taijutsu users, kind of, as he still has so many counters to the second gate. Next fight Sasuke versus Neji. And then he says, I've always wanted to do this for Chibi. Sasuke says, mm -hmm, same as me. Now, Neji, he's not going to have all of his OP Jutsus, but he will know the gentle fist, as Neji and Sasuke are getting into a tight Jutsu battle. Sasuke, knowing of Neji's attacks, though, dodges him, as he always keeps a distance from Neji. That's what he said. And no, Neji probably would. I'm gonna say Neji has palm rotations. As Sasuke throws a couple of kunai in Neji. But something catches um, Neji's eyes off guard. Neji sees a type of seal on the kunai. Thinking it's something, not knowing it's a release. I'm gonna say Itachi has trained Sasuke. Same as Fugaku. As they want to make sure Sasuke is as strong as possible. That's what Sasuke says. Fire star. Fire dragon jutsu! As he basically shoots out a fire dragon. Of course, this hits Neji as it does a bit of damage to him. Not burning him fully, but does damage. Neji jumps back and says, I see. Sasuke rushes towards Neji as this is one of his brutal mistakes. Neji cancels out one of his chakra points as Sasuke is in a large amount of pain. Of course, he jumps back. Using a body flip. He says, That's not enough to make me not able to use chakra. And he says, Oh, they will delay your attacks. Your body flicker was slower than it usually is. Hm. Don't you see? You're a bit slower now. As Sasuke says, oh, What stopped me from being you, though? Sasuke gets back up from the ground as it was kind of crouchy. He pulls out a Tanto type sword, it's kind of, I'm going to just say it's a katana, but it's kind of a bit shorter, it's not a Tanto, it's not very short, but it's not katana length. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. As Sasuke rushes towards Neji, he manages to slash Neji across the chest. Of course, Neji wasn't able to use the palm rotation at the moment, as he was focused on hitting one of Sasuke's chakra points. 
Sasuke managed to hit him before. Let's jump back to what Sasuke says perfect. I think I'll be able to use my chakra more later. Sasuke activates his two tunnel shine more as he gets back into battle stance. Sasuke says, I want to show you a jutsu that I've made myself. You know, lightning release, don't you, Neji? Neji says, yeah, it's one of the five basic releases. What's your point, Neji? Sasuke grins and says, lightning storm. Rumble! All of a sudden, a dark cloud, or I'm gonna say, multiple dark clouds appear above Neji. As they strike him with lightning. About one bolt each, and it was three clouds. Neji was shocked, because he couldn't dodge it. It was lightning. He couldn't even use his palm rotations in time because he wasn't fast enough. If you say, oh, Neji would be able to rotate him. No, he wouldn't. Kakashi was only as fast as lightning. Neji was not as strong as Kakashi. We saw him. Plus, this is only again in Neji. Ultimately, Sasuke wins. Again, I don't really care about Neji so yet. Now then, a lot more fights happen, but it ultimately comes down to one singular round. Between Naruto and Sasuke, as Naruto says, ah, So this is where you want to fight me. Just know you're gonna lose. Sasuke says, Yeah, right, like I would. Naruto says, I fought Uchiha's before. You guys aren't that special. Your Sharingan's easy to bypass. I'm a quick learner. As Sasuke says, You're the one who beat up Kazumi, right? We're on two different levels, just know that. Naruto laughs and says, that happened when I was seven years old. You're telling me you're stronger than someone at the time who was a Genie. So he must have been 12. Let me actually count. 100. It's been what, five years? He's 17 now. As Sasuke says, hmm. yeah, like I said, I'm on a different level. Sure, we have the same level of sharing one, but... I'm still stronger than him. I know much more jutsus than him. Now that Naruto was a monkey, I'll show you my true strength. Naruto grins. As he says, Yari, Yari does it. Fine then. And yes, it's Jotaro's catchphrase when he says the exact same thing. If you fight me to an equal level, I fight you to an equal. Sasuke and Naruto both get in his stance. Of course, Naruto still was using Star Platinum as a regular stand. That was an exoskeleton. The Star Platinums took too much damage already. Considering how much Lee actually managed to hit him, and some Star Platinum. When it looked like Naruto was dodging attacks, it actually didn't hit Star Platinum. So it was doing damage to him. As Naruto lands a punch on Sasuke regularly, and Sasuke says, doesn't look like it hurts as much as it hurt Lee. As my second punch connects, as the first one was a distraction, Naruto didn't punch Sasuke as hard. As this one sent Sasuke flying, and Goku says, Sasuke, lesson number one, don't let your guard down. Sasuke starts to remember everything he was taught as he gets back up and he says, Fire Star, great fireball jutsu. He shoots out fireball towards Naruto, who easily dodges the attack. Not allowing Star Plant to be hit either. And he says, hmm, I have to fight cautiously now. Sasuke says, huh, you have to fight cautiously. Oh, is it that weird chakra thing? Yeah, it's chakras depleting. Actually, I'm trying to hit. Rumble! That's when a lightning bolt tries to strike Naruto. But to Sasuke's surprise, Naruto takes the attack. He says, nice try. I'm not going to let you harm me, Stan. And Sasuke says, So that's his name. I didn't think he would do something like that. I miscalculated him. And it seems you managed to actually take the attack. <laughs> You're going to be an issue. That's fine. I'll still win. Sasuke rushes towards Naruto. Naruto says, Big mistake. Naruto, instead of stop him, punches Sasuke in the face. Twice. As he did it ten times harder than normal. Seems he used his basic form of exoskeleton as he deactivated it after. Sasuke says, 
Ah, so he used that thing as an exoskeleton. Of course, everyone else was wondering what Sasuke was talking about, but they knew it was that magic spirit thing Naruto was using. As Naruto says, yeah, precisely. Amplifying my chakras, the tax. Now imagine if I added chakra to that. Sasuke says, yeah, that would be hard to be. But right now you're not. Plus you're standing, his chakras depleting. What are you going to do now? Naruto grins as Naruto points his finger towards Sasuke. Sasuke thought this was a clue. He said, Fire Star, great fireball jutsu. As Naruto said, No, stop that noise. That's when he hears, raw, 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 raw. As Bob Platinum began to barrage Sasuke until he was knocked out. Honestly, this barrage lasts for like yeah, 10 seconds, longer than most barrages. Finally, Sasuke's body is on the ground as Naruto won the fight. Everyone was in shock as they thought Sasuke was superior, and yet Naruto managed to beat Sasuke quicker than Lee. That was impressive, most of the fangirls said. As some of Sasuke's fangirls switched over to Naruto, of course, the ones like Sakura stayed loyal. She says, Sasuke is still better than. As Naruto gave her a death stare, Sakura's mother said, Don't look at my daughter like that. And Naruto says, What are you going to do? Just because you're on a civilian council, you don't think I won't hurt you? Well then, I'll fight you right now. As Eruka slipped her senses, Naruto, calm down. You won the competition. You fought someone, and so you should be calm. Naruto sighs as well. He's finally won the money. And, well, Eruka knowing how Naruto is, he gives him attacks that basically work a few fists. So, like a fire fist, a war fist, all of that. No one really knows Naruto's chakra affinity. As Rujin says, Naruto, since no one knows your chakra affinity, well, would you be okay to do it in front of everyone? Naruto says, Sure, why not? To everyone's surprise, Naruto got all five natures. You may be asking, why did you give him all five natures? He does not use jutsus like that. He doesn't use fireballs, he doesn't use that retarded shit. He has no long range attacks at the moment. Why wouldn't I? He's gonna be able to produce fire on his fists, water on his fists, earth on his fists, um, Wind on his fists, you, you get the point, and lightning on his fists. But yeah, this is part one, I hope you enjoyed, bye.